So as the city clock strikes one, a warm welcome to this short service lasting about 15 minutes here at St. Peter Mancroft Church in Norwich. I'm Edward Carter, uh, the vicar here. And as I welcome those of you here in the church today, so I also welcome any who are joining us on YouTube. Today's service, well, really it's more of a reflection, I think, than a service in the ordinary sense of the words. Uh, today's service or reflection is the first in a series that we have planned over the coming weeks with the overall theme of looking for meaning and purpose. Looking for meaning and purpose. And although that theme might sound a bit grand, rather general, the truth is, I've found the extraordinary events of the last six months have raised lots of questions in my own mind about what's really important in life. And I've had plenty of conversations with others who've also been chewing things over in a new way, conversations with others with whom normally that sort of thing, well, we wouldn't talk about at all. Perhaps you found that kind of thing has been true for you as well. Yesterday, I was with a group here in Norwich, and we visited an intriguing outdoors art installation created by an artist called Luke Jaram. It was in one of the local parks, and it consisted of a number of massive flagpoles with flags made out of bed sheets, some white and some red. And we wandered in amongst the flags, looking up at them and enjoying the way the breeze gave them life. We literally entered into the artwork's space and in a way became part of it ourselves. It was called In Memoriam, In Memoriam, and was created by the artist to remember all those affected by the COVID-19 virus and to be a tribute to those who've been giving so much care to others, especially members of the NHS staff and care home workers. But any artwork takes on different meanings for different people. And as I engaged with it, I found myself thinking again about how my own life is interwoven within the life of a whole community. The flags, well, must have been 30 or 40 of them, I should think, were in a way all separate, all independent, standing free. But as the wind blew, they all danced in the same way, in the same direction, with a wonderful pattern together. Each flag was part of a bigger picture, a bigger story. And the same is true, of course, for human beings, for us, as we take our place within a community, perhaps a city like Norwich, where I'm speaking from today, as we recognise that we're part of a bigger picture and a bigger story too. The meaning and purpose of our lives can only really be explored as part of something bigger. Something bigger. The fascinating and complicated story of the community in which we live. The way in which we live our lives alongside our neighbours and the recognition that this story existed before us and will go on long after us too. As I wondered yesterday some more within the In Memoriam artwork, I noticed uh, that the flagpoles looked like great lengths of scaffolding, well anchored into the ground. They were certainly made of metal. But my mind jumped to a beautiful visual image 
that occurs in the Bible, in the scriptures, an image of a well-rooted tree planted in a sacred and a godly place, drawing water, drawing life from the ground as it grows and as it flourishes. Christians believe that the meaning and purpose of life has something to do with our relationship to God. And for me, when I remember that my life will flourish as I root myself in that holy ground, which is God's presence, when I remember this, and I don't always remember it, but when I do, and when I act upon it, well then, something does become different and changed for me, for my life, for the way in which I understand the meaning and purpose of my life. It's certainly not like some conjurer's trick or some easy incantation that we can just run off the lips. No. It's much less easy to pin down than that. But actually, it's also much deeper in meaning than some simple and easy trick. It's part of that bigger picture within which we live our lives. Part of a community, yes, and alongside others who in some mysterious way allow us to flourish as we look for meaning and purpose. There's one other interesting thing about that artwork I've spoken about in memoriam. If viewed from above, it makes a red cross on a white background. I didn't actually see that view myself as I wandered within it yesterday. But even though I didn't see it, it was there nonetheless. It was real. And as a Christian, I believe that even when in my life I I can't see the big picture properly. I struggle to see that big picture. Well, it is still there, nonetheless. And that big picture often seems complicated, in some ways uncertain, full of challenges, even setbacks and tragedies. But that big picture is also the framework within which our lives find their meaning and purpose. And just as the artwork's flags made a great red cross for anyone who could truly see the whole thing, so I, as a Christian, believe that the sign of the cross of Jesus Christ is deeply woven into our lives, whether we know it or not, and into the life of our communities, our cities, our world. Looking for meaning and purpose is not a task that can really ever be completed, ticked off the list, done and dusted, no. Rather, it's a lifelong task of seeing the world freshly and rejoicing in the companions that we find along the way as we go forwards in hope and in expectation. As we look for our own purpose and meaning in life, so we realize that we're part of a bigger picture, a bigger purpose and meaning under God. Well, I don't know if this counts as a service or as a time to pause and reflect, but as I end now my short reflection, these few words, we are going to pause for a moment of prayer. And I'm going to ask my friend and colleague, Janice Tyra, to come forward to the lectern and to lead us in a few prayers. And if you want to make those prayers your own, then do please add your amen to Janice's words. Thank you. Let us pray. 
O Lord, as we add our prayers to the many, many thousands that have been offered to you over hundreds of years, we pray for this church today, that it may continue to be a place for you to be felt in the center of a busy city. We ask your blessing on all who work and worship here, on all who visit and seek peace here. We give thanks for the experience of being alive, the opportunities each day brings. Despite the uncertainty of the times we're living in, we give thanks for everything that makes life worth living. We pray for this city, for all who work here, on the market, in the shops, in offices and industry. We pray for those who are unemployed or have financial problems, the homeless, those who are ill or struggling to cope. We pray too for the children and young people going back to school this week. Help us in the rush and busyness of life to remember that each of us is known personally to you, matters to you, is of worth to you, and that you love each one of us. Teach us to value our life and show us your purpose for our life and help us to see you in each person that we meet today. Amen. Amen. We'll say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining us today for this short service, this time to reflect and pause and to pray here in the heart of this city of Norwich, whether you've been here today in the church or indeed watching online. Uh, the future reflections will be on Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays in the coming weeks at one o'clock. They'll take on a great variety of forms. Um, the one I've led today isn't necessarily representative of everything that we'll be doing. And they will be focusing on different aspects of how we find meaning and purpose in our lives, in the life of our communities, and also the life of our world, our planet as well. So I do encourage you uh, to uh, come along and to watch those over these coming weeks. But as we end now, may God bless you, bless us all, bless our communities richly as we look for purpose and meaning in our lives together. A blessing of Almighty God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>